from you. Atten, I feel that perhaps there has been some miscommunication between us concerning the exile. No, I understand you just fine. Look, I know what's going on in your wannabe Jedi mind. Thought you Jedi or ex-Jedi or whatever you are were supposed to be above all that. Atten, perhaps I should explain. I see relationships with others in a different light. Not as possessive or carnal. Relationships are... Well, there's something shared between two people and give both strength, whether through struggle or whether through affection. I admire her. Perhaps even feel for her. It is difficult to be around her and not have such feelings. Well, yeah, okay. But she walks a far more difficult path than the rest of us. I care what happens to her. And if I can help her, I will. Perhaps if there is anything we can agree on, it is that we will be there for her when no one else is. And perhaps save her so that she may continue down the road that she must walk. Well, here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta. Swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shaddaa, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war, without purpose and without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shaddaa's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It means glorious jewel in Hattis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the Huts. Nar Shaddaa orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the Huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me. We're not going to go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shaddaa at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shaddaa were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians, and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me again. Knights of the Republic 2. We're on the new planet. I think we're on a on a scary, but kind of criminal planet. So let's see what kind of mess we can get into.
request. If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenya, Tachimorota Kamsa, Javaskobo Sabjo, Regis Okarvenokso. This is the craziest part of this game we've had so far. Tachinokada Mirenito. Renfiloso ni heko chupa naret atamakcha. The hopo botenyo go jucho picha, gwem taba ni sochu, norotoga proto lala shishi, juba dosa jibacha, ratakman san, tokosha na chitolo. Observation. Jedi follow the self destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Doveri nincha, yonona shitasa chuch. Doveri nincha, yonona shitasa chuch. Goli rosodish. Ranta kras mobas. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. All right then, let's move- It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Whatever we do, I say we get the Hawk's ID signature changed while we're here. Might keep us from being a target when we enter a new system. It is not your choice, Atten. It is hers. What is it you wish to do? All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Yeah? Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Tell you what. Let me check it out. If you're cleared, then you're clear. No trouble. Hmm. Ah, never mind. It's not worth the trouble. I gotta tell you, though, I got another one of your ships docking here within an hour. I'm not sure what to tell them. So, I think you can open doors for me or something. All right, let's see what we got. You wanted to part human. We warned you what would happen, but your kind doesn't listen. Break legs. Maybe you not wonder so far. No, look. You can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. No, your place, human. I'm out of here. Over there. Another human? One human? Not even using fight. More than one human? A little better. Still more blood. Well, there's more humans here. Oh, okay. More when I came I gotta get her a weapon. <laughs> That's a problem. Just say the word. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Well, they work for the exchange. For a quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the exchange. The only language the exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. 
The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Alright. Let's find out. Nobody has really dark side except for him, I think. Uh oh. Why are we back here? There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Corellian diplomat Mimis Yoon, and Yusunus of Achani. No, you're correct. The pattern ends with Malak. At that point, worlds die indiscriminately, or seem to. Taris, Dantooine, all become targets during this time. I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know. And that concerns me. Uh oh, that's a problem. Alright, so I need to get to... I want to be... I hear you. All right, now we can continue. Right Spare a few credits, friend. Much appreciated, friend. Lo uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. What, is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? This sector's filled with refugees from the Jedi Civil War, and even as far back as the Mandalorian Wars. Refugees and war veterans both, and anyone else who was rendered homeless by the war. The Jedi destroyed planets across the galaxy, and here's where the wreckage ended up. That's two names for one thing. It's difficult to tell in the crossfire, and the Sith were led by Jedi. In the end, it didn't make much difference. He's got a good point. He's got a good point. Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Yeah. Can you spare a few credits? Maybe help another oh, refugee. Ah, this guy too. Need? Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. And would that be a kindness? What if, by surviving another day, he brings a greater darkness upon another? The Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. <laughs> no, he's a, no, he's a Seeing another up. elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. So we should do nothing? And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Uh 
Uh-oh. Another cutscene. And what did she want? Not much. Just answers to some questions. Really? Interesting. Hmm. Talking to people outside of school, are you? Hello, TT32. Many accidents have occurred here in the garage. Oh no. Please ignore the carbon spore on the walls. The accidents are infrequent. Solston's hearing's pretty sharp, if you couldn't guess from the lobes. <laughs> he says no smarter comments. Big ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawk's ID signature. Could be useful for avoiding notice. <laughs> he loves his big ears. Alright, so I got one mission. I don't mind if I steal from him a bit. Alright, uh oh. Oh, sure. What kind of favor are you asking of me, T31? My attention the professor wasn't. Oh no, he was scrapped and picked up by a junk dealer. What would you like me to do? I was wondering if I'd be able to get him back. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, okay, so we've got a droid shield that they need to stay in business. All right. Is it Astromech? Droid Brown. Okay. All right. I got two missions now. Let me go back this way, because he was talking to somebody. I haven't heard anything more yet. 
All right, I'm going to stop it right there. I feel like if I hadn't stopped it there, the video would have went on forever. Because this is basically a cutscene video. So if you like cutscenes, you're welcome. <laughs> on the next video, we'll jump into some missions, see what this planet has to offer. And if you want to see that, well, there's only one thing left to do. You got to sub up so you never miss a thing. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.